African Airways Flight 551 touched down at 1.30 yesterday afternoon. African drums and music welcome a sign of the soil. Nathaniel Ndazana Nakasa was finally home. He was born in Lusigisigi in the Eastern Cape in 1937, but grew up in Durban. He is the son of a teacher and a freelance writer. He cut his journalism teeth at the local Ilanga La Senatal newspaper, later moving to Johannesburg, writing for Drum magazine. He became the first black journalist at the Rand Daily Mail. A very inquisitive journalist. He wanted to find out things and he asked the difficult questions. Um, if you look through his writings, you will find that he is still searching for these answers to these difficult questions at a time when it was dangerous to ask those questions. His return holds a strong message for journalists. It's a very important day. Uh, NET represented the best amongst us in terms of commitment to good writing, uh, to learning, and uh, to quality journalism, all of which are important things that, as journalists who are still practicing today, his return must focus our minds on those three things. Efforts to repatriate Nakasa's remains began almost a decade ago, led by former KwaZulu Natal Premier Zulim Kize and Sanef. This has been like tears of joy for the family, tears of joy for our KwaZulu Natal people, and we are very grateful about that program. Government also urged all South Africans to emulate the courage displayed by someone like Nakasa. We are celebrating his life what he stood for, the values uh, he espoused as he was living his life. Values such as courage, values such as love for your country and your people. And, and those uh, are values we would want to see in our society generally, but particularly amongst journalists. His homecoming, a relief for the family. He loved reading, he loved his country, he had an edge to explore the world. He was hoping to return home and share the knowledge he gained overseas. For 50 years, he lay near American human rights activist Malcolm X at the Fencliff Cemetery in New York. Nakasa wrote before his departure, I am a native of nowhere. But on the 13th of next month, he will find his final resting place at Chesterville in Durban. Linda Mkobozi, Morning Live, Durban.